Good afternoon. My name is Dr. James Lanny, and I'd like to demonstrate how to use the data cleaning wizard on Intellective Statistics. So I'm going to go to Upload Data File and select my file. It happens to be the Rosenberg Self-Esteem Scale, and just open that up and upload that file. So there's a few things that it does. Uh, it's going to look for multiple headers, like is very common in Qualtrics and in SurveyMonkey, update variable names, fix misspellings, convert Likert really uh, ordinal levels uh, to numeric values, create subscales in an ID. Very simple. You can always exit, go next, go back, and then apply changes, what has to happen for it to take effect. So I'm going to go to next. And here we're just going to get rid of these headers which is very common. So you just select the headers that you want to get rid of, apply those changes. You can see that they're gone and go to next. Here, we're able to edit the variable names. So you could just select, create a new variable name, apply the changes. And you can see that new name is in there. This is helpful when you have really long names, for example, you want to keep them nice and short. Here, there's misspellings. Sometimes there's three E's here and two E's in disagree versus three, or male has a capital M and a small M, and you wind up with too many levels. So here, we could just click on merge. You can see that it's, it's um, collapsing those two into correct spelling, apply changes. I'm going to do that just two more times. And one more time. And that's all there is. And let's just go to next. Uh, I have like to type scales. That's true. So I'm going to go ahead and select the scale. I have a five point agreement scale. And, um, and I'm going to get there, right there. So I have strongly disagree to strongly agree. That's the numerics that I want to have happen. And I'm going to check all of these because all of these have currently these labels. And I want to change them to these numbers. So I click Apply Change and then click Next because I'm all good to go. I'm going to add a subscale. So it's really all of these items create that subscale, well, except for that one. Uh, all of these items create that subscale. And then these particular items are reverse coded. And um, my scale goes from one to five. So what it's going to do is going to, uh, well, I'm going to name it total. Okay. I'm going to sum them. And I'm going to sum all of these items here. And I'm going to reverse code items four and eight. And they have a value from one to five as the range and apply changes. And now I have a subscale with those in there. Go to next. Um, we suggest getting an ID variable in there. Just so if there's something messed up in your data, you can say, ah, it's, you know, uh, observation number seven. So we say yes to that, apply changes, and finish. And voila, uh, we have our data set here with an ID variable, a new name, no extra headers, and we have a total score, uh, which has is comprised of reverse coding and just adding the other items. That's it. Nice and simple. Data cleaning wizard. Enjoy.